Hey guys, good morning. I woke up early. The only one who's awake with me is Douglas. I figured I'd do a haul for you. I know how much everybody likes these haul videos. And I haven't never done a haul, so I'll do a haul. We have uh, Benefit, or not Benefit. I went to Sephora, Ulta, and Walmart. Um, so I'll just show you what I got everywhere. So I'm going to start. with start with Walmart and work our way up um, all right I got these elf natural lashes and they were only a dollar and I've used them before and they look really nice you know if I if I wear um, um, like eyeliner you can't even see that they're there even if I don't wear eyeliner I've worn them and they literally you know they don't have I guess some of them that came out had like this white strip you can see it um, I think uh, Jeffree Star had a problem with that uh, but he liked the lashes he just didn't like that strip as you can see they got rid of the strip the white strip isn't there anymore and I mean I wouldn't use the lash glue that's in here I use my duo lash glue but this comes with a pair of lashes and an eyelash glue for a dollar I mean I'm not stupid enough to pass that that up I got two sets and then this I got these, I've never heard of them, they're Salon Perfect, Go Glam, never heard of this company, this is lightweight, easy to apply, reusable, obviously I would reuse these, um, fuller lashes to intensify and volumize, the reason why I got them, this is blogger favorite, blogger favorite, so <laughs> I've never seen any other beauty blogger wear salon perfect lashes they usually like house of lashes or something like that but it said blogger favorite and they're really thick and fluffy and that's why I like them so I figured I'd try it out I forget how much these were I have to do that I will link everything in the bottom how much they were where to get them from all that jazz and from elf because honestly I don't need high-end sharpening pencils I only use one pencil and that's my white one for my waterline so I have other pencils I just don't use them um, so this is fine for me and then I got um, well I got this wet and wild foundation I've been hearing a lot about this um, I think Jeffree Star said something about it and it was really good I think even maybe Nikki might have said something about it a couple of other bloggers were saying that this stuff is actually really good. Um, that it's like a really good dupe for um, uh, Makeup Forever. And so I'm like, mm, let's try it out. <laughs> and this, it has this really nifty wand thing. So you just go pew, pew, pew. Now this isn't my shade. What does it smell like? It smells like every other foundation. Kind of chemically clay, you know. Um, anyways, this isn't my shade, obviously. I am too pasty pale white for that dark shade, but if I get a tan or if I bronze or anything like that, I might be this color. I don't know. Well, my daughter is this color, so I am going to give it to her, let her try it out. She'll probably be trying it out as a first impression on her channel she's hey mickey i also have that link down below in the description box so check that out she'll be uh doing a trial yeah, thing with this um yes she does kira i said did i say kiana i'm sorry if i did my daughter kira uh it's hey mickey um on youtube and i will link that down below i got this essential tools makeup brush cleaner this is the stuff i've been using for a while it works really well it is soap though, so you kind of just, you know, use use it as you would like soap to wash your brushes. If anybody knows a really good brush cleaner, all I have to do is swizzle it in a little thing and then it comes out clean and wipe it free and there it is. Please let me know. Please, because I'm looking for one that I can just do and it can be dry in like 10 minutes. I'm getting a lot more clients. So I need to be able to wash, 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 sterilize, brush, dry, ready to use. 
this, you know, the brushes take a day to dry it, it's slow, and it's arduous, and so like So, yeah. Let me know if there's any other one that you guys would recommend. Just put it down below. All right. Now, we will go to Ulta. What I got from Ulta. Mm -hmm. I got from Ulta. I'll uh, start with this. I usually don't do the sunless tanning. But when me and my husband lived in Hawaii, I mean, my family, he really liked that sun-kissed look about me. And I, I'm... Irish, so I like I burn. I don't go out and tan. No, I burn. And if I'm lucky, after the peeling's over, I have a little bit of tan. So this actually might be good for me. Never used it before. I'm gonna start. You know, my neck. Probably just my neck, because my hands and arms are actually pretty. You know, they're like a different color than my neck, because I get sun. You can't even tell. I get sun on them more than like I don't lay out and go. Mm, you know, so probably use it on my neck so I can wear a little darker foundation. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Um, I will tell you how I like this when I have more time to use it because I haven't even used it yet. But I've heard good things about it and I love benefits. So yeah, a black, their real mascara because I ran out and all I had was the brown and the black. This is in. Jet black. All right, tart shape tape in fair because I'm a pasty pale ass and I ran out. Uh, the poor professional matte rescue break in pore emergency invisible finish mattifying gel. I got this because I do use the benefit. I do, you know, I do use the Benefit Professional normally, but I'm really oily. Um, so I need something that, you know, can, I was looking for something that could help for the oiliness. And the lady at Ulta said that if I wore this under my primer, under the, uh, my Professional Primer, under any primer, then it will like suck up all my oil and be able I'd be able to use more powder if I needed to so this is what it says so this lightweight water-based gel overpowers shine and absorbs excess surface oil leaving a natural looking matte finish blend with diamond powder blended with diamond powder known for its soft focus blurring effects matte rescue instantly minimizes the look of pores so I could actually wear this without my primer but she said to put both of them on because together they work great so I'm gonna try that then y'all know I love Too Faced I'm sorry some of y'all think that their stuff is crap I don't some of you guys think there's too much fallout not enough pigment I don't agree I will collect all their palettes if it's the end of me I have their peach palette I have this one a couple other ones and I will be getting the new chocolate chip palette um, and the new peanut butter and honey palette. But I just gotta wait until they're in stock or order them online. Which that's probably what I'll do. Is order them online. So, I got the last peanut butter and jelly palette that they had in Fresno. So, yeah. Looks like that. Smells a little scrumptious. Mmm. And I'm going to be doing my makeup with this today. Just because I have to. You're going to have to try it out. Then from Eco Tools, I got a couple more beauty sponges. Um, I do use a beauty, beauty, beauty blender. But I'm always like trying to see if there's, you know, other less expensive, but, you know, sponges that would work the same. So, I got Eco Tools Perfecting Blender Duo, best with liquid, with liquid and cream makeup. Two unique sponges use wet or dry. And so, I don't think these like grow kind of like the Beauty Blender does. You know how that one you get wet and it grows? I think these are just meant to be used like this, but I'd probably wet them because that's what I'm used to. Um, the stippling around it, it's just like a Beauty Blender. So, this is what. I'll try out too. Alright, that's all for Ulta. 
let's go to Sephora. Because I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Sephora and Okay. <laughs> All right, Sephora. We have got Makeup Forever, uh, Mist and Fix, a great setting spray. We've got the new Better Than False Lashes Extreme Fiber. New brush fibers. It's instant lash extension kit. This is with the fiber lashes. We'll see how that works out. Uh, excessive lash by Makeup Forever. I, just, I got this for free for having so many points at Sephora. Makeup Forever. Uh, oh, this is the HD Stick Foundation, which we all know is like awesome. Of course, I got it in the lightest shade they have, Y215, because I am such a pasty pale ass. But, you know. And I got some little lower lashes. I do not know. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, these are fluffy. Make it forever ultra lip booster. It's a hydrating lip plumper. You know, I love my lip plumpers. And then the Versace bright crystal, right? Yeah, bright crystal. Rollerball perfume. It smells so good. It's Versace. How could I? How could I pass it up? So nice. Mm. And I get rollerballs because it's less likely that my kids will dump them out and ruin them than with a spray. And this is my Taka Florence, which you know is a rebuy for me because I absolutely love this scent. Mm. I actually learned about this scent when I got my first. Uh, I got a birch box, and this came in it. And I was like, oh, I love it. All right. That is it, you guys, for all my neat stuff. All right. Um, you know, I got a bunch of other videos coming out this week. I've got one that I do with my son, Sean. He's 21. We're going to be doing a, um, like, a reaction video on a game that he wants to try on my phone. And then doing another video with my son. Um, where we do the, do the cup, I think it's like a cup challenge or whatever, it's blowing a cup, we're doing that. It's called the Bush Dad. I know that. To my son. It's, it'll be on the series, uh, on the series on my, on, it'll be on the series on my channel, Douglas's Head. Um, the series Douglas's Head, it's on my channel, sorry. Um, and then I will be in a Hey Mickey video. <laughs> Sorry, my one-year-old's up. Hey, Mickey video, too, so look for that. Everything will be uh, in the description box. Hope you like him. Well, he has lungs. All right. Like I said, everything will be in the description box, and I'll see you next time.